Here's how I hooked up a Modine heater in my garage. First, here's my boiler. And I had uh, one recirculating pump, gas, uh, oil fired. So a recirculating pump and a bunch of zone switches, or whatever you want to call them, zone valves. So first thing I did was I took out this little cap, which was over here, and I put a new outgoing zone. So this is an outgoing zone, it goes, it goes up and over, and goes back to the garage. I did copper, and then I connected it to PEX right over there. Return, I did return, and I did a new zone, uh, return, new zone valve, tapped into the existing, I teed into the existing, return, uh, and all the connections are in this low voltage box. So basically the transformers go into the box. The box has an out that goes down to the uh, aquastat that turns on the boiler. And I basically just wired another zone valve in, which wasn't just, it was for me to learn how to do it from no knowledge was something, but I figured it out and it works. I put another bleeder valve, another sh zone shut off, and now let's head over to the garage. But first, uh, this was a bear to work with also. I took three quarter of an inch uh, Aqua Apex Alpex. Uh, this is made by Viega, actually. Went up and across basement, up and across. And I also ran the thermostat wire, same way here, up and across. Oh, and electrical. So it goes up and across, and it goes found a spot where it would take me into the garage. So it goes up and through uh, the block, not the block, it goes past the block and through a uh, little wood uh, into the garage. And here is the electrical for the fan blower. I thought it'd be smart in the garage to put uh, the metal, uh, whatchamacallit, cladding for the wire. I'll show you that in a second. And basically, this comes off with regular Romex and goes across town here into a box. I split it off and I actually ran a new line across into, luckily I had a sub panel with an extra spot and I gave it its own 15 amp breaker right there. So in the garage here, uh, put a thermostat over here, which I obviously have to tidy up. Uh, comes out. I found a place where the central vacuum came out. I just ran a wire right next to it, right through. It wasn't too difficult. Uh, and then I mounted the Modine heater up to, uh, it says to do it on threaded rods, which I did. Again, I did copper. Uh, just as far as here, where it switches over to the PEX that goes through the wall. And then I brought, if you remember, I brought the electrical from the breaker, new breaker, up to a shutoff. I don't know why I needed a shutoff, I thought it would be a good idea. To an aquastat, and the aquastat is attached to the, to the, at least right now it's on the supply, but I have to put it on the return. It doesn't really matter, but the return cools off a little bit faster, so it'll be a little more accurate. And that's basically it. Uh, I wanted to run the copper originally. I had shut off valves, I had bleeder valves, I had all kinds of things down and around here. Uh, but the angle going down into the basement was way too difficult for somebody of my skill to be able to put copper down through there. I tried, I wasted hours doing it and ultimately I was like, you know what? I just couldn't get this PEX to line up with it and I just cut it off and I just said, you know what? And I've had to drain this once before because of my wonderful handiwork. Uh, I had a bit of a leak where I sweated uh, the zone valve on, so I had to re-sweat it and I was able to drain the whole uh, line here. Not a problem at all. Uh, I could always cut into here and put a uh, either something to slow down the flow or something to, to drain it if I wanted to. It's not a big deal. I could put two drains. I could put one there and one there. That's not a, that's not a problem. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's that's basically it. If you want to shut down the fan and not have it go at all, just turn it off. Uh, leave it on. It sets so when the acrostat senses the 180 degree water coming, turns on the fan. And right now it's it's been in one day, so who knows if it's going to be. Uh, we have a pretty decent sized garage. Uh, who knows if it's going to be big enough. I did a couple of calculations based on what they told me. And I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to keep the garage 70 degrees. I just want to keep it maybe 55, 60. So it's not freezing cold. And that's it. Hydronic Modine heater. Garage install. So far, no leaks and it's working.